Hey folks, Mark here. I was perusing the Pegasus uh, barnstorming pole the other day. I was very pleased to see that somebody uh, likes uh, one of my songs well enough to suggest it for the uh, best magic song category. Uh, that would be Sunstone. Uh, that song is on the album we released last year, which was Lands and Lore. I'm going to show you how to play that. On the album, my wife Jennifer sings it. So uh, we actually, I think, just capo three on uh, that uh, to match her voice. I'm going to show you how I originally wrote it and how I play it. Uh, the trick to Sunstone is a partial capo. So it was actually written during FOM as a capo challenge. And the way this works is we take the capo. We capo four, but we leave the top string open so that it's capoed only on the five high strings. Okay. That way, when we make a C chord, uh, since we're capoed four, we're now in E, and we have this low resonant E that really gives it a little bit of extra oomph. The cool thing about this partial capo position is that when we go to the G chord, capo no longer matters, right? So we, at least on the bass string, so we're, we're not playing a G slash E, we're just playing a G. And then we're just playing a C with that extra low E string. So it's sort of a pseudo drop C tuning. And then uh, I always play it very traditionally. So these three fingers pluck these three, three strings. Top bass strings are plucked with a thumb. Uh, and so uh, this song is played with a sort of an alternating thumb pattern. So So you've got a thumb on the one beat, you've got a thumb on the three and the four beat. So, so let's take it from the top. Long ago, in times of old, the Vikings had a stone with Byron in calcite ore they made the seas their own and even when the sun was lost to cloud or dark a storm they never knew the secret was a polarized way for and where is my magic crystal sunstone when I'm lost on a cloudy sea and where is the light of Galadriel when the dark's closing in on me I don't need a magic sword I don't need a magic ring but a star to guide my way wouldn't that be a wondrous thing science solving mysteries magic smaller somehow today and certainly we know more now, but wiser are we this way. I'm lost on a sea of dreams, with nothing guiding me. And I could use some magic still, well at least So where is 
my magic crystal sunstone When I'm lost on a cloudy sea And where's the light of Galadriel When the dark's closing in on me Cause I don't need a magic sword I don't need a magic ring But a star to guide my way Wouldn't that be a wondrous thing A star to guide our way wouldn't that be a wondrous thing? So again, alternating thumb, a few little puck frills in there. Um, it's essentially written in key of C, except cable forward, put it in E with that drop E. So um, the chord shapes. This would really be an E, but the chord shape is C. So, C, long ago, G, times of old, A minor, Vikings had a stone, back to G, and then that repeats, C, G, A minor, C, and then the second half of the verse is C, even, when the G sun was lost to cloud or dark or storm. So that's an F. Now if you want to play a bar F, feel free. Um, I use a cheater F. I learned that from Leslie years ago. Um, I have a hard time with bar chords. Especially with the guitar up here where you can see it. Um, so, even when the sun was lost to cloud or dark or storm, and the last is, they never knew, see, the secret was G, then A minor, and then back to G. And then for the verse, we, or for the chorus rather, we go to C, so, and where, is my magic crystal sunstone, G, when I'm lost in A minor on a cloudy C. That to F, and where is the light of Galadriel, back to C, when the darks, G, closing in on me. And then the last half of the verse repeats that, except we end on C because we want things resolved. So. I don't need a magic sword. I don't need a magic ring. But a star to guide my way. Wouldn't that be a wondrous thing? So back to C, because we want it to resolve. And the outro is just the last two lines repeated. So hope that helps. Hope you found that interesting and we'll see you next time. Thank you.